We about to go pick up Chicken Jim and we gonna go do some hog hunting tonight, y'all. Hogwoods made a video, so we're heading out there. It's Sunday, we got work tomorrow, but we're gonna go ahead and put in some work and go do some hog hunting. So let's see what happens, y'all, and uh, wish us luck. I'm on my way to pick Jimmy up at the moment. We'll jump in the truck and head out there and try to save a little gas. Riding kind of carpool and riding one truck. So here we go, y'all. They call him Jimmy B. What's up, Jimmy B? This truck look good, man. <laughs> Looks real good. Call him Jimmy B, Jimmy Bones. Jimmy Bones. Because as he gnaws it all the way down to the bones, and there's no meat left. Doesn't That's look weird. like he can eat, but he can eat. So, what are you thinking, man? We gonna shoot one? Yes, sir. Let's get it. I'm gonna go fuck pop oh, yeah, one. I need some beef, by the way. Don't let me forget. Got beef. Beef. From the got me some here. beef, y'all. Yeah, I got some beef at. Shit, I forgot to bring the sausage, bro. Where's it's all right. right. Oops. Forgot a cooler. Forgot the sausage. Well, let's get your shit loaded and right. get up on out of here. You need help? No. All right. We're going to get it done, y'all. Hopefully. I ain't shot one in a little bit, a couple of weeks, so let's see what happens. Old Jiggin' Jim! <laughs> what you say the other day? What was it? What was it? Well, tell him what you said the other day. I can't remember. It was funny because he was on a little skit where he wasn't catching no fish. What'd he call us? What'd you say? Oh. Slim Jiggin. <laughs> Jiggin Slim. That's Jiggin Slim. <laughs> Jiggin Slim. Rough. Yeah, pretty funny, man. Rough. But hey, we acknowledge when we're doing crappy. So hey, it's all fun, man. We have fun. You sure you don't need no help? Come on, man. Come on. All right. Let's go. Hey, what are we, you can get, I feel like you can get for that. So we, we are at the, yeah, I added that. We are at the hunting spot. Jimmy's going to go out there. He's going to set his blind up. I'm gonna show you what I what I use. Flip this camera around. Set up. I've y'all seen it before. It is a Smith and Wesson M and P 15 sport. Got a five round mag in there because that's all I need. I added a little Picatinny rail up underneath my hand guard, just enough for my my infrared light. Even though they give you a Picatinny on the side of this ATN X sight uh, two sight is what I run. It actually takes four double-a batteries here that go in there which I have lithiums in there I'm using a 70 grain I'm using a 70 grain soft point bonded soft point and she's ready to go it has an external port where you can actually hook up a battery right here and put a little scope ring on your battery and even mount the battery right there is what I used to do till I bought the lithiums now those things will run all night and uh, she's a hog killer I've killed a lot of hogs with this gun Jimmy's got a similar setup except he has the what kind of scope is that Jimmy uh, that is the ATN 4k and he's got the the newer model than what I what you, what's your rifle chambered in seven six two thirty nine or is that no, the five five six? No, this is the five five six. Okay. Um, I don't really. I got to get that. I have a seven six two, but it's not running really well. How's that? Uh, how's that? How you how you liking that scope? Good, really good. Um, you know, I have nothing bad to say about ATN. As long as you do what they say, a lot of people complain about them because they're hard to use. You got to learn them. Mike's the one that. Toby, you know, take that thing on the toilet with you and read that book every time you're there. Yeah, and when you get it you read, what do you new. what do you do when you're finished reading it? 
Read it again. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> something new you're gonna learn. Yeah. Even on the way here, we were both talking about uh, uh, the 850 nm versus the 940 nm, which I thought was like uh, lumens for uh, infrared, but it's not. It's the color spectrum. So we learned something new that um, the sensitivity setting can be changed on these guns. So depending on which light you're using, you can get a better picture out of it. Yes, so sir. I'm gonna try that tonight because I have a cheap like $15 uh, infrared I got off of Amazon because my original ATN light broke and then I was able to buy one of these for 20 bucks from somebody that had one. Uh, so I do like that a lot better because it's just matched to go good with this gun. I'm yeah, like, a lot of people. both of them tonight. I don't know, just to see how much brighter it gets. A lot of people complain, like you said, about the ATM, but I think they just, they try to run it right out of the box and don't read about it and don't, you know, format the thing, don't, you know what I mean? It, That's the formatting is one of I've, the biggest things. I've had an updating. You have to update the thing. If it if it hadn't been updated, you gotta yeah. update it. And that's what that's the problem. I ran into one problem with this scope, and the only problem that I had was I pulled the card one day, went to upload it in my computer, I pulled the card out, stuck it back in, and hit some button that said format, reformat. I lost all my zeros. I had mm -hmm. to go out and uh recite every single rifle that i had on sighted in on this scope and that was through my own yep. error it wasn't something that atn so if y'all don't have an atn if you're into night vision if you're into shooting hogs at night coyotes bobcats predator hunting atn makes a great product i know a lot of guys like to shit on them excuse my language but and, you know my dad's 65 he just bought one um he learned it in like he got frustrated a few times. He called, but that's the nice thing. Mike's like, don't don't go cheap. Don't get the uh, what was the other one like an X site, which they might be good. But he's like, I can't help you because I don't know that brand. Mm -hmm. um, my dad, I told him the same thing. It was the Wraith, the Sight Marth Wraith, right? right. That, yeah. yeah, my father-in-law did the same thing. He bought he it though. He bought it, and now I can't really yeah. help him out. He's like, hey man, can you help me sight this in? I said, yep. man, I got to read the manual, probably just like you got to. Yep. So. So what, you got two of them, I got one, my dad's got one, yep. Jeff's got one, Chris has one. Yep. We got a half a dozen people yeah, that I have mean, experience with Je them. Yeah, Jeff got one too, right? We yeah, mentioned him. he's got yeah. the same as me. Yeah, so, and Joe's got a thermal. I mean, we all got something, oh, you know, Joe, cool. Joe's Joe's high dollar. You know, yeah. he's got the Pulsar, I think, don't he? Yeah, I think yeah. so. He does have the Thor. ATN. He's got, the, no, he don't have the ATN Thor. Thor? He, he's got the the Thor uh, binoculars. Binoculars, yeah. But he, he has a Pulsar, I think, uh, thermal, so... We're going to get out there. We're going to show you all how we set it blind. Yeah. Jimmy's going to sit in the blind. Last guy I had out here, as you see in the video prior, uh, he's a big boy, and he uh, snapped my ladder on one of my stands. So uh, he's a cool dude. I forgive you, Zach. You know, I still love you. You're my buddy, and I'll take you hunting anytime. But you're never climbing in one of my stands again, buddy. I'm going to set you up in the blind. <laughs> We're going to head out in the woods. We're going to set his blind up. I'm going to head and go sit in my stand. We're going to enjoy. Today's a Sunday. Sunday I went to church Sunday, today. We, 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 we chilled out. We went and praised God. And now uh, we're going to spend our evening out in the blind. Maybe a couple hours. we got work tomorrow, so we can't stay out here too late. So we'll try to get it done. So let's get it, baby. What's going on, y'all? Today we're going to talk about the Tide Wee Whole Body Rain Suit, y'all. So as you see, it comes in this handy-dandy bag. You have the top and the bottom long sleeve hooded whole body rain suit but it is actually pretty light but yet made pretty sturdy we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on and we're gonna get out in the weather and we're gonna see how she performs y'all here we go glad y'all see full body rain suit it actually zips all the way up on them cold days to keep yourself warm it is not made out of cheap pvc material like i said it is nice and stout um, looks like it's going to last a pretty good long time. We've got a hood. You're ready to go. If you spend a lot of time outside like I do, whether you're trapping pigs, whether you're hunting deer, small game hunting, whatever you're doing, you're out in weather like this. I live in Florida. It rains 70% of the summertime, and we hunt hogs all year long. And this thing is great for whatever you need it for. It'll keep you warm. It's not insulated or anything, but it is a lot stouter than any rain jacket. Fits right in that little bag and you're ready to go, you throw it in your bag, you're gone, you're outside, and this kind of stuff, and you're loving it, and you ain't getting wet. You stay nice and bone dry. So, y'all check it out. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description to this rain suit. It also comes in camo, I believe, black and camo. 
is what you need if you're out in the woods. So check it out. I'm going to leave the link in the comments. Appreciate y'all. And check out the Tide Weed site. Check them out. If you do the stuff outside, you're outdoors, check them out. You'll be thoroughly impressed. So Tideweed.com. Y'all don't forget to use my discount code for an extra 18% off of all Tideweed merchandise on the site that I listed in the description below. My promo code, which is FLW18, and you'll receive an extra 18% off on all Tideweed merchandise. So y'all check it out, go over to the site, and we gone, y'all. Here we go, heading out in the woods, baby. It's my favorite time of the week. Get done with the hustle and bustle, dealing with everybody that you gotta deal with for the weekending. It's just you, the Lord up above. And as you can see, the hogs here, they got some rooting going on, y'all. So that's probably two to three day old rooting. Got Jimmy setting up his blind, popping it out. Gotta love those pop out blinds, man. They pop right up, boom. Finito. from the tree there. I don't even need anything else. Got my bag hung. This used to be my archery stand and now it's my everything stand. So I've shot stuff with a shotgun, with a rifle, with a bow, with a crossbow out here. We're gonna try to shoot us a pig tonight. So you guys check it out. So there's my bag. Okay. Got this little path right there. Little path over here. Sometimes they come from behind me. Sometimes they come from in front of me. Only time will tell where they're gonna come from. So we're gonna sit here, we're gonna get quiet, we're gonna wait on them. Mess around on my phone, do a little editing, wait on these hogs, see what happens, y'all. Wait on the hogs. So nine times out of ten on this property, these hogs come out right after dark. I've killed a few, shot a few during daylight hours, morning, afternoons, but for the most part, it is nighttime, right after dusk. Right after the coons come in and feed, the hogs come in. Here you see the little coon, he looks like he's, he knows I'm up in the tree. I mean, look at him. He's just like, hey, I see you. Cool little raccoon. Oh, there you go. They line up. Got him, or got her. Doing a little leaking, y'all. Here we go, y'all. We're gonna put a big old sow down. She's uh, look like she's the lead sow. We're gonna go check it out, see what we got going on. We gave it a little time. They actually sat down behind me. We're grunting. I shot the lead sow. The rest of them didn't know what to do. They hung out in the thicket right behind me for about 15 minutes. And then they started moseying around toward James. I was like, shoot, James is going to shoot one now too. <laughs> but uh, they never made it over to that other feeder. But it seemed like right after 8 o'clock, man, they started moving around, man. Right after that feeder went off. I knew the scare probably scared the shit out of you, didn't it? When it went off or you knew it was going to go no, off? I, knew it was <laughs> I, I mean, I know it's going to go off sometimes. It still scares the crap out of me, you know what I mean? But <laughs> the coon got a little or anything. So now we get a little footage when we go back here now. And uh, she ain't no slouch. She's probably 200 pounds. She ain't no bigger than that, I don't think. If she weighs a, more than 200, it's not that much. So we're going to go back there and see. That's see compensation. I got a cool video of a coon climbing all over your feeder. <laughs> I get in my stand, 
and I'm thumbing through my photos, sending my wife pictures, and all of a sudden I see a picture of James. He stole my my, my phone and took a picture of him. So <laughs> it's going to be in the video, and I'm going to put it in right here so y'all can see it. Well, check it out. Here's James. <laughs> Heading back to the spot. You know we can't just walk. We gotta take the four by four through the woods and get to the spot. Cause we're lazy. So it's like a Malaluka swamp. Pine trees on one side. A Malaluka swamp on the other. If you're familiar with Malalukas, they are like a paper tree. Um, you go up to them and the, the bark just peels right off. And they're usually around thick swampy areas and that's what hogs love so this is why we hunt there there she is she's prego there's the exit one he was facing that way, so it hit her in the head and it came out the out her jaw. One shot, dude. She gone. Couple shots from the game camera. Me climbing out the stand. Me and Jimmy hauling it out. Couple pics of me posing with the pig. All right, y'all, that's all I got for this episode of the Florida Woodsman. We saw, we came, we conquered. Me and Jimmy hung out, had a great time, harvested some meat out on some property, did the landowner a solid by getting another pig off the property. So uh, that's what we do. That's what we live to do. We enjoy doing it. And uh, until next time, we really appreciate y'all. Don't forget to hit that flag in the right-hand corner to subscribe to the channel. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. And y'all be blessed and be safe out in them woods. And we're going to get up on out of here. We gone, y'all.